All I can think about is every time I drink coffee or take a sip, I think of this. So, okay, so today's episode, it's gonna be a little bit different only because I am actually, what, I was gonna say sitting down, but I've always sat down in my other episodes. Um, but today's gonna be more um, coffee time, just sitting down as if you're sitting across from the table from me. Wait, was that even a sentence? I need to get my corny jokes out of the way because, why? Because I have to make corny jokes. Mm. Okay, now, first of all, it's an English accent. We want some lolly coffee or some tea. Such a horrible accent. There, there's another, like, there, there's the British guy, like, oh my, I don't know what I just said. And then there's the other uh, England guy, he's like, now that would be annoying to hear all day so if you're married to somebody like that man I, you know i almost want to say i'll give you a free photo shoot just to kind of you know balance life out okay now today's setting is more about just ease comfortable and not trying to be like hello i did that there i go yeah there i go again like, hey, this is art, man, you know, doing the whole show and everything. I don't mind doing that, but hey, I just want to sit down and just talk to you like one-on-one. -on -one. That's all I want to do with me and my jean shirt because I think it's cool. I think since the 70s has been cool. Even before then, if I had been born in the 50s, no, did they have a jean shirt? Maybe they did, but look, if I had been born back in the 1800s and I was an Englishman and I was like, Okay, that's enough with the accent. Now to some real good corny jokes right here. Pretty funny, right? I, I understand you look up Pinterest, but please don't flood your photographer with Pinterest ideas. And the whole day, he's like trying to recreate the whole Pinterest day for you. Like, I mean, you hired that photographer for a reason. <clears throat> you hired him for a purpose because you liked his or her photography. Because you like that style and it captured your, your heart. You're like, yes, I want that. And then all of a sudden you want to flood, you know, your photographer with all these like Pinterest and you know what? One or two is fine, but let him or her do his job. That's all. That's all I'm asking. I'm asking for the sake of other, my friend photographers. Kind of weird to look me in the eye, huh? Oh, okay. So I know what you're thinking. Um, you're like, man, this guy added a few pounds. I'm going to say this. The camera adds 10 pounds. I know what your next question is. Man, how many cameras are you holding? All right, so first one is fix your hair. Now, depending on what culture you're from, like if you're from like my culture, like the Mexican culture, it's like, paint that pelo, paint it there. And it goes on and on. If you're from the Asian culture, like fix your hair. Such a horrible accent, man. That's such a horrible person. But I try my best in photography. Hey, you know, that's what I do, but you know. Okay, so the other step two is bring some props on the set, you know. Uh, I mean, it's cool whether you want to have some kind of, you know, like, uh, I was going to say puppet. I don't know why I was going to say puppet, which is not a good idea because uh, then you'd be kind of like, I don't know, that awkward couple that nobody wants to visit. Like, like no, 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 D don't visit S Sammy and Joe because they just want to like talk to you through their puppets and so emo. Bring some props on the set, you know, bring some banners, bring something that, you know, wh whatever announcement that you want to make, some special shoes, however you guys met 
if you guys were wearing the same exact shoes on the day that you did meet, uh, the shirt, hang it up, just anything, any prop, you know, uh, and a real photographer knows how to make it more in an artistic way. Uh, just knows how to actually produce it to where it's going to be very romantic and not just a, a cheap shot. Okay, now make sure that the photographer makes the day comfortable. Now, I make it comfortable. I'm not going to lie because I like everything peaceful. I try very hard to make the setting very comfortable. Uh, it doesn't matter, matter what kind of photo shoot it is. And sometimes I bring like a baby rat and be like, look at the camera. How old are you, 40? Look at the baby rat. And I take the photo. Okay. So I just spit right now. That's my job. Like just to make sure that everyone is eased because if, if the photographer is just one of those mad, like, like he's just tired of his job, then you shouldn't hire him really. Actually, he's going to go further and beyond what you're expecting him or her to do. And so when you sense that, then you'll know that you have the right photographer uh, for your engagement or for your wedding day. But I'm gonna give you some more tips. Here it comes. Bring three outfits. Like I always talk about, you know, a sundress, make some jeans, uh, a nice button shirt. I mean, just something that you guys can have some kind of like nice, like, like you actually wanted to actually go and take the photo. Like you prepared yourself and you expected the photographer to prepare themselves as well. Okay, now please, please, here's what I'm asking you, do not go and do this. Logos on the t-shirt, I mean, just don't come with the t-shirt, please. If you're the only one listening to this video, grab, like pause it right now, and like don't pause it to where I have like an ugly face, I'm just like, 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 don't do that, right? <laughs> like, possibly where I have, like, a, you know, like a nice, you know, handsome face. I'm just like. Like, pause it there, right? You know, but bring him back because this is very important for him to hear. All right, guys, listen up. I'm going to tell you this once because you probably only see this once and then just kind of go back to your uh, video games. Or if you're a manly man, go chop wood, you know, in the backyard. I chop wood sometimes. I like that. But here, listen to this. Comfort her because she may have a meltdown. She may cry before the engagement shoot because she'll be so stressed and not know what to expect. Comfort her and say it's going to be okay because the more that she's comforted, then the photo shoots are going to come out awesome, perfect. Because remember, you can have the best photographer in the whole world, but if you both of your hearts are not into it and loving and romantic and caring for one another, then it's just gonna come out like a commercialized photo. Just kind of, there's gonna be no emotion behind it. Or it's just not gonna come out as, as fluent as you want it to be like in your Pinterest ideas. All right, guys, you can go. You can pause it again if you want. Mm. Okay, so the next step is pick a location. You can either ask your photographer for a location or you can pick one yourself. But remember, it's all about the perfect location because, it, now, okay, now if you guys met at a Walmart, I don't recommend picking a Walmart and doing a photo shoot there. I, I mean, some people have gotten married there. I've never done one. I don't know if, if I would continue to proceed with the, I, I don't know, I, I think I would decline the offer. But I think it would be interesting, so I may take it, so I don't know. But then again, I'm doing this video, so uh, I wanted to do just about anything to make my clients happy. Even drink this coffee here, you see that? This is my man. He my baby daddy. He sugar daddy. He strong, he mighty. I don't know why, okay, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that voice, but I did it because I like it. It's cool. It's just something that I do on a regular basis. Okay, now you also have to consider the hour that you want your photo shoot. Because look, if do not here here is a rule of thumb: you want early hours. If you're a morning bird, then pick the hours like when the the sunrise is just coming out. Like those are beautiful photos. 
uh, you want the sunset. The sunset is majestic. I mean, it's beautiful. So I recommend picking those hours early morning or, but if you don't have time, I understand that then, you know, pick an area where there's a lot of trees, a lot of shade where, you know, it's not, believe me, it, it's going to help. And it just brings the colors out magnificently. That's what, yeah, that's a word. Okay. All right, let's keep on going what I don't recommend. I don't recommend picking a friend photographer who's just like an amateur. Now, if they're, if they're in the professional business and that's all they do and that's their job, yeah, just go for it. But if, if somebody says, hey, man, I just got a camera for Christmas, man, you know, I want to develop my portfolio. Stop. You better turn the other mother away because if you don't, you're going to regret it because all those Pinterest photos that you've been looking up that you're like, oh, so awesome. Yeah. That was harsh, man. But here is the truth. You want me to tell you the truth? I will tell you the truth. Your photos will not come out looking like those Pinterest that you've been looking for. You know why? Because that photographer is an amateur. He doesn't know what to look for. She doesn't know what to look for on the camera. The settings, every moment counts. Like, I don't even have to look at the camera. Like, I'm, like my hands are just like this. Like, just... Like, I don't know, without the camera and I just did that, like, you would think I'm a creep, just like, yeah, 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 yeah. But when I had the camera, like, I mean, it's so professional, I'm just like. <laughs> so, um, make sure that you hire an actual professional who's gonna make you feel comfortable. Make sure that your, your photographer has a personality. I'll tell you why. Because I've seen, okay, I've been to the Dallas Arboretum when I'm not doing a shoot and I pay attention to the other photographers and they're like 14 miles ahead, like walking before, like their, their client is like, yeah, like 14 miles behind them while the photographer's like, like trying to like look for another spot. He's just like, oh crap, like I don't even know what to do next. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, he's like, he's looking on Pinterest himself. He's just like, crap, what's next? What's better? What's better? There it is right there. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Like it's all becomes a job and he's not talking to the client. He's not making them feel welcome. Like, hey, this day special. Like, like you guys are gonna be the best couple ever and joke around like, you know, cause my humor is guy humor. It's, it's, it's guy humor. All guys have guy humor. All ladies have girl humor. And I, I do have a sensitive side. Uh, but, you know, and I, I joke around with the ladies. And it, it's, it's just what I do naturally. It doesn't become a job. It's just that's all I do is joke around. But if you see my work, you see that I'm, I'm in serious business. Like, like, just look right here. Like, if you see this shot here, like, you know that there is a lot of thought put into that. Like, it's just, it doesn't happen by accident. Like just none, none of the photos happen by accident to where it's just like, ooh, I think I'm gonna become a photographer. Like, no, like you have to plan, you have to adjust the cameras and you have to have a personality at the same time. So I'm like a one man band, basically. Bring t plenty of water, tons of water. And that, well, that's ridiculous because logically tons of water, you can't carry that around. That, that's like, you just can't. That's like being like this guy right here, like, I would like to be him, but you can't. Okay, now make sure if you want really good engagement photos, here's the big tipper, okay? When you are interviewing your photographer, be sure, and he should say yes to this. If he does not, or she does not, I'm gonna say he because I'm a he. If your photographer does not wanna show you this, what I'm about to tell you, then do not hire him or her. Okay, here's a tip. Say, I wanna know that you are a legit photographer and you're not gonna play me like a fool. You know why? Because I have this, you don't. You're asking for this in exchange for good quality services. As for this, here's the number one thing. Let me see your before and after photos the raw footage and ask for about three, four of them from different portfolios. You know why? Because anybody can pull a photo from online. They can buy a photo, they can Google, they can pull it from any website and pretend that it is theirs. 
and maybe they, they can try to fake it till they make it, but you gotta call people out. Be like, hey, I wanna see your before photos, what it looked like before when you took them, and what it looks like after, because I wanna make sure that you are that photographer. Don't be scared to say no also. On the side, like, it's not a scary thing. I, I'm just saying like, you know, cause remember, it's your money, you want perfect photos. You wanna make sure that your photographer is legit. If I'm gonna hire a photographer for like my engagement, like if I'm having a wedding, whatever, like I'm gonna ask questions and if they feel uncomfortable or they feel like threatened, like, like oh man, like I'm not gonna go nowhere with these people, then they are not the photographer for me. You know why? Because uh, a real photographer would be like, certainly I would be more than happy to show you. Like, let me, sh let, let me pull some of my drive and let me show you right now. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And you hire him, which is me. All right, I appreciate it, guys, for watching the video. I'm gonna kinda kinda ramble on, so uh, you can continue to watch it. Uh, if you do, that's on your own discretion. Uh, your discretion is advised. And so I'm gonna kinda kinda like ramble on a little bit. Now, I do look up some videos on like, you know, like New World Order. I didn't even say that right. New World Order, uh, Illuminati stuff. Like, I don't know, it's just curious. Like, you know, some people are just like, if you fold this right, like really hippie is what I'm listening to. If you fold this right here and then fold it right here, you can see that the water is coming right here. There's gonna be a great flood. I mean, it's so stupid, it's ridiculous, but yet I'm there like, I'm like 40 minutes into it, I'm just like, oh my God, like I need to buy some life jackets. My goodness. And you know, I'm just like still drinking my coffee and I'm still, I, every, I'm still looking at this image like right here, so. Like, I feel like that's the, what the government's doing to me. Just like, drink it, baby. So, I know, right? It's ridiculous, I, I swear. It, like, I think I should open up a separate channel, like, just for me to ramble talk just about stupid nonsense crap. But in reality, it's what really what we really think about on a normal basis. Like, you know, like three days later, we're just like, you know, 10th ten, video in. We're just like, oh, my goodness, the aliens are the ones that are going to take over. I don't believe in aliens, actually. Uh, but you start to believe it. Like, once you watch it, like, more of it, you're just like, holy crap, like, Bill Clinton was a woman this whole time. We didn't even know it. That's why Hillary didn't get mad when he cheated on her or she cheated on him. Maybe Bill Clinton is really Caitlyn Jenner. Oh my God. You know, I understand this is probably making me like unprofessional right now, but I will tell you this right now. I am a, a real professional photographer. I, I, I seriously am. Like, I, I, know, I know my field. Uh, I will go in, in head-on competition with anyone. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone else. I, I never said that. Uh, but I know how to take photos because that is my job. Like, my, my job depends on that. If I don't take good photos, I'm never going to get hired again. But I still continue to get hired because even though my packages are kind of high, uh, there's a reason for that because you are paying for my skills, my experience. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, I have a personality. I, I'm a, I am a human being. That's just who I am. Um, so you're really hiring somebody who you really like, who you really trust. Uh, you're hiring a personality. That's why you listen to the radio, because you hear the personality, you like it. Uh, you still buy into that. And of course, you, you got to buy into quality conversation piece, like like, you, you, like on the radio. You know, uh, you fall in love with those characters and uh, you fall in love with the photography first. And then if you like the person, you like the guy, you're like, hey, I like this guy. You know, he's cool. Uh, that's all part of it. So if you're listening to it, I'm just saying, like, you, if you're listening to the video right now, you're listening to me ramble. And this is just me talking here. I like it. I like when I be heard. I don't know, maybe I had uh, issues back in my day. I don't know. Maybe nobody listened to me back in the day. And all of a sudden the, the YouTube was invented. I'm just like, Mommy, Daddy, YouTube. You know, I'm just like, can you listen to me now? Uh, 
so anyway, that, that's part of my whole uh, deal. Um, so that concludes, you know, my talk, my personal talk of who I am. 